Well, we're outside the UAE Team Emirates team bus and well, it's home to the likes of Pogaccia, Adam Yates, Raphael Micah, Matteo Trentin. Um, we've got to look at all their bikes. This one belongs to fellow Brit Adam Yates. It's obviously quite small and there's some interesting stuff going on here. So it's a Colnago V4 RS. That's the one bike that UAE use for all the road stages. And then we've got some nice shots of their TT bikes as well. Uh, this was known as the Prototipo for ages and then it finally got released as the V4 RS. Uh, UAE have gone to Envy Wheels and Dura Ace group sets from Campagnolo who used to supply both of them. So it's all the latest kit, it's got the R9200 group set throughout. His chainring size are quite interesting, a 5440. We don't often see a 40 tooth in a ring. However, since shooting this bike, we've noticed that Carbon Ties X Carbo Ring Evo Carbon Chainrings have been making more and more appearances on Team UAE bikes, including on Adam Yates' stage winning bike. This 54 tooth ring with aluminium teeth, carbon body and titanium elements weighs in 112 grams. That sounds pretty impressive until you realise that the Durace ring that he usually uses is just 4 grams heavier at 116 grams. Let's hope it shifts well. At the rear, that's paired with an 1134 tooth cassette. That seemed to be a popular choice among climbers like Adam Yates and Matteo Trentin, a sprinter, also had that. The bars seem to be a real mix. Some of them are using the Colnago integrated bars that come with the bikes and other people like Adam Yates are using this Envy bar and stem combo. It's 130 mil stem, by the way. The only UAE bike that we've seen not using this two-piece Envy cockpit or the standard Colnago arrangement is Tade Pogacar's. His bike is fitted with this rather tasty integrated bar and stem that Envy has teased as the SES Aero Road one-piece handlebar on its Instagram page. The post states that the rest of us will be able to purchase it later on in the year, no doubt for an incredibly large sum of money. Have a guess at what you think it will cost down in the comments section below. Another exciting point is that the post says that this is the first product developed in conjunction with the UAE team. Does that mean that there's more on the way? One particular point of interest on Adam Yates's bike, he's clearly tried to make it as light as possible. And this area here, they've drilled a hole and well, to mount the saddle. And that is, I don't know if it's a bodge, but it looks quite neat actually. There's this carbon cup to hold the saddle rails. Perching on top is a Pro Logo NAC Space Dimension saddle that's also carbon railed and in the Pro Peloton we're seeing more and more short nose saddles. The wheels are NV 4.5 SESs, they're pretty wide, um, it's a 56mm deep at the rear and a 50mm deep at the front. They've got the 28mm Continental GP5000 TR tyres on them. Um, they'll use them for all the stages apart from the TTs when they've got a 5000 TT, the new tyres to use. Um, it's 25mm tyres on their TT bike. Adam Yates goes for a 28mm and we spotted Matteo Trentin's bike with 30mm tyres on it and they really did look wide. Um, all of them are set up tubeless. The NV wheels on the TT bikes are also quite interesting. The rear one has a sort of wavy sort of thing, we assume for aero and some of the front wheels, they're not using Envy front wheels on all of them. Some of them have the famous Aero Coach front wheels, which do seem to be, well, a lot of teams are buying them in for their star riders. So we can assume that they're one of the fastest about. So moving back down here, we've got Durace pedals fit to all of them. One thing that isn't Durace is these brake rotors. They're actually carbon tie and they're the third generation of them. Obviously they're being used to save weight, 160 mil at the front, 140 mil at the rear. That seems to be the case for nearly all the pro bikes we're seeing, probably to make it easier for wheel changes. But yeah, the brake discs, this third generation, it obviously has the carbon inner and then the floating titanium rotor. They've made lightweight brake rotors for ages Previously, they were only available with six bolt, and now they make these center lock adapters for them, so you can fit them to most road wheel sets as well. Third generation, they've added a little bit of weight um, and rounded off the edges to please the UCI. So you can expect to see a lot more of these on road bikes rather than just mountain bikes now. Carbon tie also provide the through axles, and to the best of our knowledge, this is the first time that a World Tour team is using aftermarket through axles in the Pro Peloton. The through axles in question are the X-Lock Evo through axles, 
which weigh in at 23 grams for the front one and just 30 grams for the rear. Uh, we've got a few scrapes, a few battle wounds from previous races, and this here is just a bit of inner tube. A lot of teams do that to uh, protect the fork from when you put your chip on. So all the riders will ride around with a chip for their timing. We've also got Elite Legera Carbon Cages. They're my personal favourite and they're on my Tarmac SL7. They hold a bottle like nobody's business. We're an elite bottle at least. To make the NV stem pair with the, with the head tube as neatly as possible, this spacer here appears to be 3D printed. We like that. Out in front, it's a Wahoo Rome V2 that uh, Adam Yates is going for. Well, I think that's just about everything on this bike. It's a dual-sided power meter. Uh, that's just Shimano standard. Um, 170 mil cranks and Colnago own brand bar tape. So nothing too special there. One area that I might ask about is this uh, front mech mount. It looks like it might be titanium. I'll go and ask, find out. Anyway, what do you reckon of Adam Yates's bike? Let us know down in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on lots more world tour bikes. We'll see you next time.